pleasure to be here um, helping the Asian Art Museum today. And uh, it's a little bit unnerving to be addressing um, educators. I'm usually on the other end of the lecture from where you see me. So it's a little bit unnerving. Um, I'm a martial artist. I've chosen an art form that's martial. I'm not a warrior. I've never seen a war, never been in battle, never been in the military. I'm simply an artist who's chosen a martial form of art. Um, I'm not an educator, except in instances like this. I think the last educator in my family was Professor Harold Schultz, who sold, sold uh, musical instruments and taught music, and we know how that ended up. So we'll see how this goes today. I'm here to talk about the martial arts today and kind of where they, where they came from. Kendo, the way I practice it today, derives its name from the two kanji, or they've used the two kanji, um, ken, meaning tsurugi or sword. The tsurugi was a double-edged sword that came from one of the very earliest uh, sword fights in, J in Japan. Um, let's see if I've got this correct. So the top character is ken, meaning tsurugi or sword. <laughs> the next character is do, meaning michi or way. So translated, it's the way of the sword. So a path in life which is followed through the training of kendo. The classical warrior of Japan didn't really practice kendo as we know it today, um, or any other martial art or way, do, as we know them in their aggregate form of martial arts today. Most of the martial arts today are do forms, the, the ways, martial ways. The classical warrior of Japan practiced what is called bujutsu, or a martial art, which were combative systems designed by and for warriors, which promoted self-protection, battlefield technique, and group solidarity. Now, if you look at the martial arts as they were practiced back in the 12th century, you would have it made up of and these are not the correct terms for back then. It would be kendo, iaido, batodo, or cutting, and sometimes something similar to kendo kata. So back when the classical bushi were practicing martial arts, and they were practicing the sword martial art, it was one big thing called kenjutsu. And as it's moved through history, it's been broken into these martial arts. And it's gone from a jitsu, to a do. What I mean by that is kinjitsu has now turned into kendo, iaido, batodo. They're no longer jitsus. They're dos. They're ways of self-promotion, not self-promotion, I'm sorry, um, self-development through the use of the sword, different types of swords. Okay. So now that I've completely confused you, are there any questions about that? So I'm going to be talking. To, yeah. Jitsu is, from my understanding, it's an art, and I'm going to call on Yoko Woodson. Yoko, how would you translate the term jitsu? Jitsu itself could be like a, a um, technique, learning uh, skill, or something like that. Art is called bijutsu, the, uh, beautiful uh, skill or something. Bujutsu is martial um, skill or something like that. So jitsu means literally technique, but it's then later, Bujitsu would acquire more spiritual aspect too. It's not just, you know, fighting skill, but more than that. Bujitsu is also not just the painting, but it go beyond it. So it has a deeper meaning, and I think. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, and for this one, I, I don't have the kanji up there, but usually you would have to have the kanji to direct, derive the, the exact uh, meaning for it. So bu was actually came from the bushi, the term bushi, or 
warrior? Yeah, war warrior. Okay. So this is, would be the technique of the bushi, mm -hmm. which would be all-encompassing. Okay. Bujitsu would include kudo, or not kudo, excuse me, I used the do term again. Kujitsu, which is archery. Uh, let's see. Kujitsu. Bajitsu horsemanship. Bajitsu the horsemanship, uh, right. Sword. Kinjitsu. Kinjitsu is a, a swordmanship mm -hmm. or something. It's kind of uh, similar, but it has a little wider meaning, mm -hmm. jitsu. Though it's mo more of the spiritual aspect too, you know, like a, not just the technique, but you have to go beyond it to the philosophical level mm -hmm. or something like that. So I think that's kind of why they changed from jitsu to do. Yes. So that there was an understanding that we're not practicing the jitsu form anymore. We're practicing the do, do form. Yeah. Okay. So it's a higher level of to reach out. It's all do. So. Thank you very much. So today, in today's society, when you pick out a sword martial art, you don't have time to practice all of those together. And a lot of the teachers do not have the technique and the history to practice all of those and teach all of those. Um, usually a person practices kindo and iaido or one or the, one or the other. There are some um, schools popping up that to, to actually claim to be teaching a long lineage of um, ninjutsu from the ninja families, which have no actual historical link to the past that can be documented correctly. Um, so with that, really quick, does anybody in here practice martial arts? Any, any of the teachers? No, okay, so we'll keep going. Somebody's son does, great. So while today's kendo is a direct descendant of, descendant of historical bujutsu, the budo today are spiritual and self-development systems, not perpetuated for combat or use on the battlefield. And here you see three different uh, photos from kendo. While not being practiced for battlefield use, kendo today is directly descended and developed from kenjutsu, the traditional sword bujutsu. Develop, the development from kinjutsu to kendo went from sword to boken to shinai, all of which are used today. However, the focus is not to carry a sword into battle, but is to use it as a tool to form character. And I'll show you these different forms of the swords as they, as they move through time. Okay, as educators, you hear the term, let me, let me guess, when you think martial art, how many of you think black belt, the term black belt, okay? That is, in the Western world, what everybody understands as a rank, correct, in the martial arts? Okay. Let's dispel myth number one. This is one of my pet peeves, so since I'm in front of you, I get to educate. Black belt is not a rank in the martial arts, okay? And it has no historical link whatsoever to the samurai or the ancient culture of Japan. It came from Dr. Kano Jigoro, we see here in Hakama, on the left-hand side, he was a teacher of jujitsu who is the father of the modern form of judo. Okay, so he took the jujitsu form and turned it into the do form because he felt that everybody in their daily lives, if they practiced this form, could develop better character from it. And I guess I need to speed up probably. So what he did is he felt that everybody that practiced needed a sense of how they were progressing. And he developed the colored belts and the higher belts, the Q and the Don system, okay? The ranks are actually Q and Don. You start at 6Q, and as you progress, you go to 5th, then 4th, then 3rd, 2nd, and 1st Don. Q meaning unranked or being in the unranked category, and then once you got past the Q, you would go into the Don, Shodan, Nidan, so 1st Don, 2nd Don, 3rd Don. The significance of this was signified by a belt. So while you were in the Q ranks, you got either a white belt or a brown belt. Once you moved into the Don ranks, you got a black belt. So just as you wouldn't call a general a star because he has stars on his shoulders, or a sergeant a chevron because he has a chevron on his shoulders, technically speaking, we shouldn't call the Don ranks black belt. 